today. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to play uh, When I Was a Boy by Di Williams. Um, really beautiful song lyrically um, and um, also lovely melody on the guitar. So first things first, uh, get your tuning right. This is in Dad Gad. Um, so bass string, E string is down to a D. A string stays the same. D string stays the same. G string stays the same. B string down to an A. Top E down to a D, giving us three different octave Ds and giving us two A's an octave apart and giving us a G in the middle there all together. Really nice uh, chord or open chord. Um, now what Dar does very cleverly with that tuning is she makes very little work for her left hand. Essentially for uh, all of the verses, it's gonna be exactly the same shape, just moving up and down the fretboard. Uh, the shape she plays essentially is to push down on the three bass strings on the same fret and we'll be moving that around. Now the way she does this because she wants that G of the third string to still remain open, the way she does this is to push down the bass two strings with the index and help out with the middle finger on the fourth string, which the angle of that allows the space for the G to ring really easily. Now you could just play it barred, but you're going to have to keep your finger up from the strings there, or I guess you could play it with all three fingers. Um, but anyway, choose your, choose your way. Um, so the uh, chord progression goes from the fifth fret up to the ninth fret to the tenth fret ninth fret open and that's the verse the thing of picking pattern is pretty similar on each chord and the most important thing is to get your thumb just walking between the bass string and the fourth string um, at a regular beat so the whole way through the bass the thumb is going to be going between those two notes and what gives it the um, character is the other two fingers here so at the beginning of each chord um, we're going to play with that bass note we're also going to pluck the um, second string with the middle finger then we hit that second thumb followed by the index finger on the third string in this case it's playing the octave so all together then thumbs coming back to the bass string and then we're going to pluck the second string with the middle finger so all together and then back to those two in the middle fourth third so all together and then another time she plays it she'll also when she's coming back to the middle finger instead of playing the second string she'll play the top string so together you'll hear first one they pluck together with the middle finger on the second string the second time when you come back to the middle finger you hit this top string so all together I'll play it through all of the chords there nice and slowly you'll see what's going on basically the same on every single one and we're just moving between those then for the chorus um, she gets absolutely beautiful chord here um, which essentially is your index finger is on the fifth string on the third fret middle finger is on the um, third fret but on the second string and then to start with we're going to play this top string note on the fourth fret Picking pattern is the same, but this time the thumb is going to play between the um, fifth string and the fourth string rather than the bass string and the fourth string. Um, so the first position is 
playing the fifth string together with the top string and like before fourth third and then fifth second so and then this time we'll now keep in the same position but we'll take off that added top string and play, pluck the top and the fifth together so together and then we're going to slide down to the second fret same position and then the second time we play we then take off the middle finger so now some of the choruses she plays that position twice so she goes back up here and other times she just goes down to playing open to resolve it there so all together pretty much it um, if you listen to the record you'll see, figure out where those changes occur um, I'll just play it through the whole thing just one more time now um, for you to watch and then get on with it yourselves Thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up if you can. Appreciate it.